<laughs> hey y'all what's up welcome back into the channel or welcome in if you're new here today marks a really special day this is my first ever final fantasy that i'm playing and before hold on hold that thought give me a second to explain i grew up playing whatever my siblings played. I don't know if anybody else is out there like that, but I grew up with two older brothers and that meant I either joined whatever they were playing or I basically played by myself in my room alone. So I took to gaming really early on. And with that, I was completely, I think, throwing myself into categories and games that they were playing. My siblings never grew up playing Final Fantasy. And in turn, I also never played them. and. I have been doing content creation for almost five years now. And with that, I think that I kind of have like a genre I stick to. I think we all have our like tried and true, our bread and butter, that kind of game that we like to go back to or style we like. And Final Fantasy never really made the cut because it made me uncomfortable in the manner that I would have to get used to a different kind of combat. I'd have to get used to possibly, if I went back and play other ones, I do turn-based combat, right? I understand that the remake is a little bit different than the rest of the games. So I have this thought, and I've always kind of been like this, but I always try to find the game that will make me fall in love with the genre, fall in love with the world. Obviously characters change, worlds change, all of that stuff. But for Final Fantasy, I felt like the remake of Seven was gonna be the best entrance into the genre for me. And once I got, like, once I clicked with it and I enjoy it, then I wanna go back and do some of the other ones because I know that this is a little bit different than the classics. We also have Final Fantasy 16 coming out soon. I saw that trailer and I got really excited for it. And I've never really followed along with Final Fantasy uh, news or, or the games that have been coming out and everything. I remember when this game dropped and everybody on stream was like, are you gonna play it? And I don't know what my excuse was. <laughs> I don't know. But so many of you guys have been asking for this. And my challenge to myself this year was to play some games that got me out of my comfort zone. And this, I, I really couldn't think of a better game series and genre and franchise to get into and bring me out of that bring me into the discomfort, I suppose, than Final Fantasy. So I'm done rambling. I think I made my point clear. I really hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, I ramble a lot. I love talking with you guys. I love giving you guys my thoughts of how I'm working through it in my head. Um, and so, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy this first ever playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake, but also just my first ever Final Fantasy. With that, I'll be ahead of you guys. So by all means, give me the tips, tricks. Um, I typically will see them a couple days and then I won't be able to like correct how I'm doing it to a little ways down the line. But I do want to be very clear, this is a very different combat for me. I'm not used to this kind of style of combat at all. I think I do best in a kind of soul style combat. That's like my bread and butter. That's what I do best in. So I'm looking forward to whatever this game offers. So with that, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. And let's dive into this game with an open mind, open hearts, and zero expectations. All right. And... The music already just makes me excited. I guess normal. Definitely not easy. A player controlled character will attack and defend automatically. You want to fully experience battles as well as the story. I feel like the combat's got to be part of the fun, so let's go normal. This is gonna bring back so much childlike wonder, even though I know I didn't play it and I don't have nostalgia. I just think it's gonna be incredible. I like the atmosphere already. Almost feels like a movie the way that it starts off. Mm -hmm. 
Are these futuristic? Like, I don't, I guess this is just a whole nother world, right? aren't doing too hot. Need some water. Is it like a shield? It's a death star. The graphics, y'all. <laughs> this is a movie, this isn't a game. Rude? a daffodil her jacket's so cool did you see the texture it's not like a leather or even just like a cotton there's almost a shimmer to it Of the desert. The color scheme reminds me of Bioshock so much. Just with the city, I think the industrial and, and architecture. Mako Reactor 1, Mako Reactor 1. That was a big sword, by the way. You know, I've seen pictures and things <coughs> like that. these guys get down here Merc Merc <laughs> the entrance the jawline what is happening all right chapter one the destruction of the Mako reactor Mako reactor one Okay, real quick. That intro was a movie. That was uh, so well done. I can't imagine if you played the original or the originals, like any of the other ones. I bet that would have made you so excited because I was excited and I have zero experience with this. Just beautifully done. Okay. So we've got our traditional like moving. Yes. Expert <laughs> attack. Do we have a jump? I don't think I can jump. Oh. 
Sorry, traffic cone. Okay. I'm sure the tutorial's on its way. Halt! Halt. Who goes there? You're up. Okay. Basics of battle. There's gonna be a lot at first, so bear with me, guys. I'm gonna try to take it all in and do it as the game is intended, but I'm a whack-a-mole kind of person. All right, use this to attack with Cloud's sword, then use her to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple enemies nearby. Okay, easy enough. Evade is gonna be B, guard is R1, L1 is command shortcuts, and then we've got our lock on as well. What was evade? Guard, okay. You're coming with us, nice and easy. Don't think so. <laughs> Steady. Oh, that's that. So do you get bad. a finisher on them if... <laughs> Warming up. That'll do. Cloud is now level seven. Oh, there's our yeah yeah spells items. Items. Oh, we have potions and ether. This is so cool. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see them. <sighs> sneak past. Sneak past. <sighs> Have fun. Jesse. I wish that I had Jesse's girl. We're probably gonna get shot right away. Okay, ATB gauge. The ATB gauge fills as time passes by attacking with the square. Once a bar is filled, your character can perform special actions. Charges can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking the enemy to fill the gauge. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. Where's, okay. Using it, you can expend ATB gauges charge ATB gauge charges to perform basic commands, pressing X while using one of the commands. Okay. Enough of this. What? <laughs> okay. Abilities: focus thrust. <laughs> okay, I need to. I have eyes on Let's my go. ATB though. I guess it's the thing at the bottom that says cloud. Checking data out of battle. Main menu and map. When not in battle, you can check the map, open menus, and view various kinds of information. Press this to view the main menu, press to access the map and various objectives. When that icon appears, move your character close to it to automatically jump, crouch, or perform whatever action is needed. All right. So I think we're out of combat, so let me... From the main menu, you can view your inventory and gameplay status, as well as save and load your game. Battle settings. Oh, we have, okay, so L1 plus that is braver, focus thrust. So we do have automatic commands as well. Or uh, combinations, enemy intel. Spells, inventory, party. Okay, there is a lot to take in. I want to just kind of look at the atmosphere too. Delicious, fresh, healthy. Okay, we automatically did it. Drop the weapon! You got this. Yeah, what they, he said. They don't hear them sneaking past at all, they just want me. Fair enough. Avoiding attacks. Okay. Yeah. You're coming with us. Can't get oh, surrounded. Oh, to roll out. Nope. <laughs> Try harder. Ooh. I feel like I really want to use. Okay, we blocked all of it. Uh, I gotta remember the AT. ATB. So long. Oh. It's over. Was never in doubt. Okay, so anytime I want to use the ATB, right? So it's not even accessible right now. I think because I'm out of combat. All right, I see my health bar. Information. Clear. Icicle. It's, it's a lot because if you're not used to this at all, you're trying to take in the combat. Look at the lighting, the details they put into the atmosphere. Yeah, if you're not used to the, any of it, 
you're taking in not only the setting, the characters, the abilities. Oh, <gasps> there's a loot. Ah, oh, the loot goblin senses are tingling. If you see the word hold, then you need to hold it down. Give me the loot. Two potions. Okay, let's try actually using a potion. I think it's gonna naturally tell me that. Anyway, but how did I do that? Items, potions. Use a potion. Nice, 350 increased. I don't know what the ether is yet, but I'm sure they'll tell me. No, the loot goblin's gonna loot. Two grenades. Can I quick cast those? Loveless. Destroying objects. To find spa. Oh. Oh, okay. And there's items hidden as well. I got a shard. I like our mini map as well. What we do, we do for Midgar and for you. So this is called Midgar. Good morning. <laughs> So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And well, he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> the voice this acting? This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. The details, really the voice acting well. is top notch. Real joy to look at too. Thanks, Jesse. Here we go. Oh, looks are what people notice first. Guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. <laughs> or even the same. Give it a rest. Thanks and Jesse. You'll keep us safe, right, Cloud? I'm on it. Okay, I can't interact with them. Wow, they've almost got the door. Wow, let's see if breaking these boxes. Yeah, we got a potion just from breaking boxes. If there's two things I can do, it's sniff out loot and crush boxes. <sighs> I was thinking Cloud's muscles were impressive, but then I saw his. No. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. Oh. What? Poor Wedgie. <laughs> no, Wedge. I think of a Wedge salad when I see his name now. Wedge. Uh. <sighs> the tattoo. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. <laughs> Seems cuddly. So this must be some kind of heist. Into the center thing? Is that where they make the currency, perhaps? It's giving me the same feeling as like the Pirates of the Caribbean music. I know that's probably an insult to this music, but it, in the way that it's very catchy and it's like uplifting. All right, locking onto targets. Same thing as most games, I think. Get him, boy! Guess you're first. The guard dog is a beefy boy. Woo. Nice. Punisher mode? Here we go. Oh, I switched. Yeah, definitely kill this guy first. Block it. So long. Staggering start. Not bad. 13 XP. I definitely think I'm not used to how many things are like popping up on the screen, but it's not it's not too much. A lot of it kind of reminds me of the overwhelm that you get when you start playing like Witcher for the first time. A bottle of ether. We should test the ether. Go for a security officer before the doge. All right, security officer is defeated. Go lock on on this. 
Let's do Punisher attack. This won't take long. Oh. Ow. Get ready. That'll do. Bring it. Hmm. All right, let me go to abilities. Let me do the focus thrust. What is it? Oh. He's on the ground. Hit him while he's down. Hit him while he's down. Feels kind of OP. No holding Finish back. him with the Punisher. Let's get this over with. That's that. Is that what it? was that? That's gonna be the problem. Is it's gonna seem like I, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but it's working and I'm here for it. <laughs> Make sure we see all the loot. Any boxes to destroy? I really love what they've done with the textures. I think that that's where I noticed the level of detail, is in the textures of all of these things. You know. Bye. Hey, over there. Catch up Are there more spawns? Definitely got this. Cloud's character. I mean, I do have one main question. How does his hair stay like this? Like he is sprinting. I'd be sweating. If I even had hair gel, it'd be out by now. What is this magic? And how long does it take him to get his hair like that in the morning? Truly, it's impressive. Hope I found it. <laughs> the MP. Also, we need to take a potion because I got her pretty bad there. This way. I wonder how much I can carry. Huh? <laughs> Not so fast. We've got company. Meat shield. I don't like these guard dogs. Alrighty. Think you can stop me? Steady. Here we go. Shit. Mm. Oh, so you definitely can still get hit while you're doing the other no Punisher back. attack? Get ready. Try this. Try it. Block the next attack by him. I it's over. Strong attack. I I'm taking Nothing too much to damage it. though. I, I don't like how much damage I'm taking. Consume a potion. So the commands menu is not too bad. It's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment, but that's really not that bad. The guard dogs are beefy though. <laughs> You know that I hate fake loot. Empty promises. Holy crap. So I love how it also pauses when you're in the command menu. All right, we're getting some shots. Block those, block that. Mm. You definitely have to be aware of your surroundings. Focus the rest, go, go, go. Let's go. Also, we're getting gill from this. I didn't even realize we're getting currency off of their bodies too. So that must be, okay, so gill is the currency. We got two potions. Where are we at with that? Nice, we're good. We're golden. Any boxes to loot? I love how easy everything just flies out of the air. Oh, hold it. Okay, so far this doesn't seem so hard to get a handle on. Come on, Cloud. Pick up the bike. You good, Wedgie? Wedge? Okay. Gosh, I'm so much slower than them. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. 
Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Reactor? Also, I feel like while I love that guy's voice, I, I, it's the type, it just feels like I'm being spat on. Like everything he says, it's just I'm feeling the spit coming out of his words. I also really like, I'm looking at Cloud's outfit and it's the bolts for me. What, what purpose does that serve? <laughs> okay, let's talk to the people we can. And then it looks like, let me pop open the menu to tell you what your current mission is. I know we have enemy intel. We have photo mode too, by the way. Enemy intel, we saw, oh, here's the guard dog. Military canines trained by troopers from Shinra's public security division. They're extremely obedient once trained and can sniff out intruders and launch ferocious attacks when ordered. Weaknesses, status ailments, lesser resistances. So all of these are questioned right now, but this is really good. This shows us that we can eventually find some information that um, can help assist us in further fights. The security officer, human. Grounded. Troopers belonging to Shinra's public security division, typically seen patrolling the city streets and company installations. Many are new recruits with little training. Damn. And probably stormtrooper aim at this point. All right, that is our enemy intel as of right now. Spells. We have a fire spell? How do I use the fire spell? I like that it shows you how long you've been in the game this whole time. Inventory. Let's actually pop open. Okay. So potions restore 350 HP. Ether restores 20 MP. So that's what I need to be popping. And grenades deal 200 physical damage with enemies within range. Very nice. Let's check out our party. I think I already had done this before. So, oh, okay. So, oh, oh, wait. Wait. Damaging your foe while making an ominous symbol with your slashes. That's the cross slash, which we saw that. The braver, jump into the air. How am I jumping into the air? Jump into the air and strike your foe with a powerful attack. Force thrust, we've seen multiple times. That's kind of like what I seem to be going towards. And then we have fire. I gotta remember how to use the, the fire spell. And then I'm assuming that we'd be able to flip through other members of our party if we had anybody else, but we don't. Yeah. And then manual, basics, controls, gameplay, commanding cloud, Restoring HP, leveling up. Okay, so defeating enemies grants XP, uh, which is as a character's level increases, their stats and attack power and max HP are boosted as well. Nice, but what do we do with that XP? Do we get to spend it on something or does that just boost everything else? Attributes, magic, the higher the value, the stronger your magic attack power. Vitality, the higher the value. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Spirit, same. Luck, we have luck as well, and then speed, the higher the value. Difficulty levels, done. Mm. Is classic the hardest, or is that the easiest? And saving your progress in the field. Tracking objectives. I know, bear with me, I just want to get a lay of the land real quick. The tracker and mini-map, that's pretty obvious, checking the map, pretty obvious. Uh, actually, I haven't opened up checking the map, so let's actually just perform that action so we get it uh, stuck in our head. And then battles, attacking enemies, done, guarding and evading, we're good, ATB, gauge and commands. That's what I want to see is where is the ATB gauge? That's what I'm missing. Okay, so it's directly underneath my health and abilities, spells, items, restorative items, fleeing. If a battle looks hopeless, fleeing is an option. Brave Sir Cloud ran away. Run in the opposite direction until the enemy stops giving you the chase. And then we have shortcuts as well. So our shortcuts are going to be L. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then other features. Enemy intel, which is super cool. I love that they give you kind of like a, a the beastery or whatever. Moogle medals. There's someone in Midgar who loves Moogle medals and will trade you items for in exchange. These medals can be found in chests and boxes printed with Shinra's logo. And then the photo mode. Awesome. Well, that should be pretty much all of that. Let's go ahead and just do a manual save. Nice. And let's get back to it. All right, let's talk to everybody. I wish we could read up on these people. I love when they give you more context to the characters Don't that you you're worry. around. Biggs will have the door open soon. I like your armor. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. 
In three, two. Oh, damn, I'm good. Damn it, I wanted to talk to the other individuals first. Who's there? Door! Door. I'm probably missing Lou, too. Wait! It's over! That's my line. Is that actually his line? Cloud's unique ability? Okay, every character has a unique ability, which you can activate with it. With Cloud's mode shift ability, you can switch between a balanced operator mode and his attack-oriented punisher mode. That's what I keep switching my mode and I'm not tracking why. Okay, let's try it. He's alone! Okay. In punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly. Ah, but releases a more powerful attack, and that's what we saw before. So I was doing it without realizing. In addition, Cloud's launches a cr uh, counter blow every time he guards against an enemy's melee attack. But he cannot, however, guard against ranged attacks or magic. When you evade such attacks, you will switch back to the operator mode. That's so cool. Okay. We can take him. Make yeah, it feel slower. Any time now. Oh, that was that counter move. Nice. Okay, so we got to see that counter move. Cool. We're back. Then let's move. We're back. There's no loot. Nothing. The only thing that bothers me is not being able to jump. Is that? I got this place covered. Yeah, I just want to know the the stuff behind that. Is there a reason we can't jump? Simmer down, hot shot. Simmer down, hot shot. Fair enough. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. I love all of their voices. Careful in there. <laughs> like they sound so like the mic quality well, sounds amazing. The emphasis in their emotions and everything. I know already I'm gonna love this game. Ah! I got a Moogle medal. And I got a tough of Phoenix down. A tough of Phoenix down. Also, let me do this real quick. Hold on. On the map screen, you can check out your current scenario and objective. There we go. I had that question right before. Breach security, show relative to current position, nice. And then we had the station before. And then the connecting passage. And then you can toggle the levels too. Which I just did. Okay, let's go look at this tough. Oh. Okay, the Phoenix down revives and restores a small amount of HP. But do I even need to restore HP right now? Yes. Hmm. We could test using, you know what? Let's test using the, oh no. That's weird. It's not in my items. Maybe you have to put them in your quick cast. Like are your items your quick cast almost? Cause it's only showing two items. I like the suits. We got the suits. Looks like I'm up. Security is only going to get tighter. So be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Hmm. I also feel like this game isn't meant to give you that same kind of challenge and that's why they have easy and normal or maybe you have to get past normal and then you can do it on a harder difficulty. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? I'm on it. <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa's one person that I do know. But how can you not know about Tifa? Oh, I would totally live here. This would be my town. <laughs> Cloud! Are you ignoring me? Oh. <sighs> Tifa and I... pants so they stay like baggy like they're perfectly I don't know I just there's a lot of <laughs> I like the styles I'm not I'm not dogging on them I think I just 
I find them really interesting, and I don't understand These how they say so perfect. These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Marco. It Marco. doesn't rest and it doesn't care. You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Marco uh. is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! I was hollow. Get help. <laughs> Say that again! <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. The alpha vibes that I... Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I wonder if we're gonna end up liking... Well, I don't know if he'll be Our around forever. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. <laughs> there are some places a sword just can't reach. Oh, that's true. We're kind of limited in that regard. Just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. <laughs> to put up with him. <laughs> so far I like the story I have to say the dialogue Oh Joined party Okay Yeah I, it's too soon to judge the dialogue just yet I think that there's probably a lot of Um maybe like history behind it too. Like it probably, I wonder if it's consistent with a lot of the other dialogue from the earlier games. Is this, uh, Barrett? Specializes in ranged attacks. Holding down that will release a sustained burst of automatic fire when equipped with a ranged weapon. Uh, Barrett, I wanna say Beret. That's what I wanna keep saying. Can fire from safe locations and hit the enemies that Cloud cannot reach, nice. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. These ten cans oh. ain't got nothing on me. Okay. Kill the sentry right by us first. Gotta love it. Okay. Now for the real show. It's oh. His unique ability. <laughs> Deliver heavy hitting attacks. Yeah. I didn't even look at his gauge, so everybody operates the Damn same it. way. Huh. Is that all you got? Okay, I'm blocking right now. I'm blocking. Let's try using one of his. Focus shot. Let's do focus shot. Fire in one off. I need some help, by the way. Oh, that's good to know. Check it out. I'm automatically healing. Up to a certain point, maybe? Suck it. Switching characters. You can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. You can also stick with the same character and issue orders to party allies. To switch or L. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm on you. Do oh, I definitely need some Shut up and move over. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, I'm in go. I don't know where I am. It's over. Okay, did he get that? No. All Reach done. the Mako storage. Huh. Cocky little bastard, ain't you? <laughs> Enemy intel real quick. And then, oh, we can read about our new, yeah. So the mono drive. I just, I just have so many questions. It's giving me Little Shop of Horror vibes. Bionic Sentry is created by Shinra's R&D division. They are equipped with artificial intelligence and are used to guard the Mako reactors. And then we have the Sentry. 
an autonomous weapon platform developed by the Advanced Weaponry Division, deploys to protect Mako reactors and other important installations. It opens fire as soon as it detects intruders. Oh, and then let's go check out party. All right, a custom order gun commissioned specifically to take down Shinra forces. His longtime right hand man, ha clever, clever girl. So fire in the hole is shoot an orb of energy that creates a large explosion. The spells we saw, or the abilities are steel skin, which we saw that temporarily reduce damage taken and how easily you're interrupted. Okay, I kind of like that. Consume all ATB charges to unleash the concentrated burst of energy. That focus shot was disgusting. And then thunder, deal a small amount of damage. Hmm. All right. Let me heal up, let's heal up. Do my potions, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, your potions are multi-use. I have a feeling I'll stick with Cloud for a little bit. Was there any loot, by the way? Did we miss any loot? This is where we came from. Okay, I think we're good. So do we share all of the same loot too and all of the everything, I suppose? The light. Look what we have here. A laser security system. Great. <gasps> Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. Okay. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then make a move when they cycle off. Easy. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! <laughs> Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. Oh. That I can do. You can move around outside of the battle more quickly by holding R1 to dash. Or you can press that once to keep dashing once you start. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. All right. Y'all ready? Go! Nope, 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 go. <laughs> boxes? Not the right boxes. Wrong boxes. And go. Not too shabby. Oh. Ah! Oh! You okay? <laughs> I should have just gone straight through. That one's You're actually kind of quick. Nice, we got potions out of this one. So I think they have particular markings that indicate which ones will actually give you. Give you items for it. She's so cute. I love her voice. Ow. I am. Pretty easy, right? Not bad. Follow Jesse. I wish that I had Jesse. And pee with a Mako shard. Let's actually test out. I want to get really used to. Oh, there's only situations where you can change your party member. It must be a combat situations only. Otherwise, you're primarily playing as Cloud. Sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. <laughs> this is giving me like Ari for. Ah, we can take this hunk of junk. I'm getting that Ari hunk of junk for. Is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in. Uh, Leon. Is that right? Ari for we Leon. Hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Stop on this. All right, let's use a wait. Spell, 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 fire, sweeper. Burn. Nice. That was good. That was good. Okay, I need to staggering enemies, hitting enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amounts of damage, will temporarily knock them off balance and pressured, will appear to underneath their gauge. When this happens, pelt them with spells and abilities as quickly to fill their stagger gauge. Once it's full, you can stagger them. The gauge fills faster depending on the abilities and magic that was used. Nice. Hey, so stagger, fill it, fill it, fill it. Let's put it down. I don't think we're gonna Keep get it. Keep it all you've got. Get ready. Punisher mode? There we go. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Of course. Oh, it's so it close. Just had to get back up. So Damn we it. knock it down again. Nope. We almost have it. Yes. Staggered foes, enemies who've been staggered are defenseless and take more damage. Using the unique abilities are on staggered foes will quickly boost the ATB. All right, nice. Also, I think I need to make sure that Time we're tracking. Complain. Okay, let's actually go ahead and use this spell and then on the sweeper and then Time let's switch to him and then let's do his ATB. Use that spell, let's go with thunder. Coming at you hard. Oh, easy. <laughs> Oops. 
sweeper defeated. What is something? First. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the 20s. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, <laughs> not your goddamn rank. I, uh... Though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his hmm. age. Mm-hmm. Damn. Guess that make you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn. I already love him. I love the sassy characters. The comedic relief in a game. Oh yeah, look at the trash cans. Yeah, I was gonna say, some of the dialogue reminds me, it's not bad, it's just that it gives me um, RE4 Leon, like, time to play bingo vibes, you know? Also, what was she doing this whole time? Ma'am. Cloud must be in other games too, maybe? Uh, maybe just the, or is he just from the original RE7? That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. All right, set the charge. I'm looking around. I know I'm unnecessarily looking for loot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm half expecting him to yell at me every time, and he also is so much smaller when we're not in a cutscene. God damn. I can practically taste the Mako in here. Hurry it up. The Mako. MP with the Mako shard. He's so oh, excited. Like a jackhammer. Scared, huh? <laughs> More like excited. I've been dreaming about this for years. I wonder how many of these reactors there are, because Cloud already kind of indicated he's taken out one or something of the sort. Wait a minute, I know that's the right way, but what's this way? It's blocked Not off. That way. Down the ladder, dummy. The game's correct the characters correct you? Aww. You're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. Fair enough. Oh. Ladders, to this day, the most difficult thing in a game. Am I right, Anna? Ah, let's switch it up. Should be easy. Need my help, do you? Get your ass out of here. Oh. Nice. All right, switch over to. Taking over. <laughs> Punisher mode? Oh, disgusting. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. Look at the little eyeballs just rolling on the ground after. This is really enjoyable. Like, it's just fun. It's not giving me the same stress as playing a game like Souls Combat. We sink right down to the bottom, to the planet's core. I don't know. The pump would suck us back up. <laughs> How comforting. This environment's really cool. Good morning. This will take long. Deal with that. Alright, and learn. <laughs> Let's try the spell. Let's try thunder on this guy. That thunder on nice. My turn. Enough. Hey, did you see me in action? <laughs> Must have missed it. Must have missed. All right, let's check the health on both of our... Well, actually, only... yes, I can. Yeah, both of us could use a little top up. Little nightcap. I like that it doesn't let you waste it either. Like, you can only use it if they absolutely need it. I like that indication too, it's kind of cool. We're at the core. Wow. This is huge. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. I wonder why it kind of gives off that like shine to it. It almost is magical. Without further ado. Oh. 
I hope we can change his outfit. That'd be really cool. Like some customization. All right. Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! <laughs> So Cloud maybe used to be with the other side? He said he's a... Yeah, he's already indicated that he was a soldier. And what are these memories? What's wrong? I'm fine. What about the timer? Your call, Merc. Oh. Um. I guess it would probably depend on how confident you are in your own ability to escape. Let's live life on the edge. 20 minutes. Pretty cocky, ain't you? I'm afraid if we pick 30, what if they stop it in time? <gasps> you double crossing! No. Oh. Heads up. What in the hell? Doc Ock? Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? It's got oh, reinforced ow. armor plating, but the internals ow. can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Huh. Lightning no magic? Other option, huh? Do I even have oh, lightning magic? Shit. Uh, should Whoa. I be worried? Oh, that's not good. Take the lead. Yeah, All right, let's I'm give a little good. overcharge into that. And then let's also throw in a spell. Thunder? Hell yeah! You see the damage that did? Keep it up. All right, just kind of drop that. Give him an overcharge. Oh, I don't have it back yet. I don't have it back. All right, let me get one more charge on him first. Do an over. Okay, he's pressured right now. Hit him with that. Switch characters in with the Punisher. Let's get this over. He's feeling really pressured. Woo! Okay. Keep up the pressure! No holding Punisher back. mode! Rip, get ready. Oh no! Alright, I should have an attack. Let's go with abilities. Let's do the focus thrust on him. See how much that does. Nice, nice, nice. That's a bad hit. That's a bad hit. Guess it's my turn. Gotta win this one for the play. Let's do this. Items, potions. Fix, yeah, fix him. Yeah. Alright. Going back in, going back in. Let's do this. Woo! That's not good. Not ideal. I guess I should have just blocked it. those. Unblockable attacks. When an enemy is about to use an attack that cannot be guarded against, the symbol will appear. Okay, same thing as turning kind of red. Take an evasion. Evasion. Yeah. Watch and learn. I'm assuming that when you're not playing a particular character, their health goes down a lot slower. Being bound, some enemies will occasionally bind your party members with unblo unblockable attacks. Unable to rack, quickly switch to a different player. Gotcha. Which we were already a different character. Fuck on this. Got anything you want to say? <laughs> nice, we Funny had a bond of friendship. Let me go ahead and switch. Let's get us. Let's try Cure. Oh, Cure is something different. Abilities. Focus shot, baby. Focus oh. shot. Oh. Ah. What's happening here? Also, health is not hot right now. The hell is that? There's not a lot going to items. Never seen this defense system before. Oh my Sorry. gosh, I'm making. Thought you were the expert. So, He's what's great. your brilliant plan, genius? <laughs> it's my time to shine. Okay. <laughs> or go down in flames. Marked. There's 99? no point trying to run. I guess we need to get in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that hurt. Bring it. Oh, that hurt pretty bad. Ooh. Gotta love it. <laughs> Deal with that. About damn time. So now, if we don't change it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both. Less talking, more shooting. What are you How about that bit from you? Time to fry. Huh? He's immune. It didn't work. Hang back. 
Yeah, I'm taking big damage as Cloud. There's something weak spot. I see it. I see it. I see it. I got it. I got it. Bounce right off. Oh, okay. So I need him. I need him. assaults, no good. Okay, backside, backside, backside. There we go. 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 I need to get a maybe a shot in there, and also let me heal Cloud because he is not hot right now. Woo! Cloud, nice. I'm gonna have to do this all by myself. Yeah, he's not doing too hot. Focus shot, go. Did that go on the weak spot or no? Shit, was just about to get you out. I wasn't expecting you to do jack. 99 missiles. Damn it, this thing is tough. It wouldn't be much of a weapon if it went down easy. Don't compliment the giant scorpion. Bring it home. That's fair. All right, I'm taking over with Cloud. I'm gonna go back to potions. Put another one on Cloud. Get in on the weak spot. There. There we go. Attack it from the rear. Okay. I we need to get a... Show me what you got. Let's get a braver going on. Damn it. He's got it. Locked on, locked on, locked on. Get back, get back. No. Keep it together. Alright, All right, let me get to its rear. Get to the rear. Damn it. Give him hell. I got this. Okay. No holding back. See, I Focus. don't think I'm doing a lot of damage on him. Okay, back out, back out. Let me switch to him. Let's get a focus shot on the scorpion. Did not do a whole lot, but that's okay. Go ahead and heal. Damn pain in the ass! Oh, can you only heal so much? Stay down, asshole. Okay, he is super pressured. Let's switch to Cloud. Get a Punisher on him. Lord! Go, 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 go! He's pressured! No! We gotta get that spot. Staggered! Here we go. All right. Taking damage and staggering enemies fills your limit gauge. When the gauge is full, you can use the limit breaks, which are extremely powerful attacks you do not need to spend. Okay. So we can just do that. You're mine. Think it through. Time to get serious. So long. Cross slash, go. Another barrier? Oh my gosh. Crap. Watch We're doing good. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? Heal so on. what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Behind the debris? Run! I'm so slow. Woo! Now, get in there and do some damage. Let's get a spell, thunder. Switch over to him. Get a command, get ability, get braver. No, fork is focus the rest. Keep behind. I don't think it really matters. Aim feet, aim. Aim field. Gotta memorize it's the attack patterns. Really? Uh, it feels like so chaotic that I haven't really been able to focus on his attack patterns. I know it's saying to do that, but it's just kind of difficult for me. I don't know if anybody else feels like that. Yeah, but I'm not close enough. I'm not close enough. Nice. All right, let's go, Nick Man. Oh. Okay, we got this. doing that thing again. Find cover and hunker down. Focus shot. Again and again and again. All right, get under this, behind it. Hang back. All right, get in there. Now, get in there and do some damage. The slashes are not doing anything. Let's try fire on him, maybe. Oh, the burn was good. Burn was good. Oh my gosh, I took so much damage there. Let's try the potion. 
All good. Don't overdo it. Yeah. Uh, Whatever. Let's go ahead and get. I know I'm gonna get shot by this, but whatever. No. This is some insane. Sure could use a break. This guy is ridiculous. Mex don't get tired or complain. And you get tired of my complaining, huh? Solid copy. Phoenix, Phoenix. I can't use Phoenix. Oh, the grenade. Heads up. That's on me. That's gonna hit me. Wait, I do have a grenade. It's wide open. Gonna light it up. All the pressure's on. Pressure's on. Get out of the M field. I gotta heal up. That EM field was disgusting. <sighs> right. I feel like this fight is taking me so long to do. Find an opening. <laughs> He's gonna jump. Keep it together. Focus shot, go. I don't know where he jumped, but he's pissed. Oh hell! What's it doing now? What is Not it? Not a repair you? unit. Damn it! Oh, we gotta kill it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I am way ahead of you, Merc. Gotta time our attacks just right. Hold out until you spot an opening. That was not good. The music. All good. Punisher, go. Let's get this over with. Go for the other leg. Don't let up. Pause. Oops, sorry. When I get my tail, oh, I'm gonna nice. blow this faster than nice, ever. Nice. That's a problem. All right, let's get a super shot on that guy real quick. Focus shot. Left leg. Nice. There goes Staggered. another. Now's our chance to do go, some real go, damage. Go, 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 go. Go commands. Oh, I don't have the special ability yet. Get him. Get him, Gorm. That's that. Woo. Scorpion Sentinel defeated. Cloud is now level eight. He's not fully dead. Oh no. Shit, the bomb! 20 minutes until detonation. It's like Doc Ock. It really is like. You hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Let's get out of here. Where should be covering our way out? 20 seconds. Go, go, go! No pressure. Oh yeah, there was an alternative route, wasn't there? Go, 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 go. I'm inside of you, but don't worry about it. Just don't think about the semantics. Go, go, go. Maybe I should have done 30. It was awfully brazen of me. Tough. But doable. Yes. Do we even have time to fight Here this right go. now? Let's do this. I think we can just leave. Here it comes. Let's just kill that one and head out. I think it's got to be a fine balance between both. Although I guess it is exp. No, you have to. You have to. I couldn't climb up. Yep. The the way wasn't it? clear. This is insanely amazing graphics. Like, I'm just looking around at all of the detail. Jesse, We gotta get to her. You okay? Help her. Do I look okay? Help a girl out, would you? My hero! Hey! We'll link up over there! Look after Jesse! I'm on it. Come this way! It's a good thing her leg's this not injured after that. To Barrett, probably. 
<gasps> I think I see an exit. Come on. Okay, just hold that thought for one second. Just one second. <gasps> Barrels. I guess we're headed that way. No, we're not. We missed out on all of those. No. Don't look back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm looting, I'm looting, I'm looting. This is a movie. We're running out of time. Shut up and climb. Oh. You're not helping. Sorry, it just, it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have it your way. Shut up and climb. Cloud is a real romantic, you know? If that doesn't, if that doesn't do it for somebody, I don't know what does. Get a braver on this guy. On Switch you. over here. Overcharge this dude. Then let's get a special on. Whoop. This is gonna stay. Nice. The other's awake. I like how Better it automatically here, switches you back to Cloud. The color in here is so much better than the like blinding green from a whoa. Got that Ooh. Right. No holding back. Don't overdo it. Yeah, I'll do it. He needs spells. This one has to do spells to be super weak, yeah. Alright, let's switch to it. Let's get a command on. Let's do our fire spell. It's not gonna do a whole lot of damage, but it is what it is. Alright. Operator, swing on it. Keep the pressure up. Keep the pressure up. Switch to Barret and hit the charge attack for the finisher. Hurry up! Overcharge is good. Switch back to him. Cloud's health is in a little bit of damage. There we go. Staggered. Staggered. Mess him up. Command. Go. KO, baby. Sure you could. Come on. I think I already looted everything. Can you reloot? I guess you kind of can. I wasn't expecting to be able to re-break the barrels. Oh! <gasps> And a little morsel of loot. Did I miss this from earlier? Sees there's 16 seconds, 16 minutes on the clock. Okay, I was going for the loot, but that's okay. No shit. Don't overdo it. Yes, it's my turn. Coming at you hard and fast. Hang back. It's over. Burn. Now that was something else. That was nothing. Did I just find my new favorite style of combat? Quite possibly. I love switching between and well, I'll explain it at the end. I'll, I'll wait till the end to kind of talk about it. But this game just does something that I've never really experienced before. Take the lead. Overcharge that. Some of them will be more susceptible. Like, see how he's charging a ton of his hits? So I think we have to play as well in this situation. Hey, did you see me in action? Yeah, it did. Give me a break. All right. Keep it together. Actually, let's go ahead and heal real quick because we're a little. Hang back. Let me heal myself real quick. There we go. Hang on to it. We gotta do 
It's on you. All right. Watch and look. I got this. Try this. Oh. That did not do as much damage as I was expecting. I also have taken a lot of damage Deal as Cloud. Nice, good damage. He's staggered. Go ahead and finish him. Watch this. Oh, I see what's doing a lot of damage to me. Okay. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. I need um I need our man. Barret. Alright! Watch and learn! No, switch, switch, switch. There. Overcharge it! Finish it. Nice. I'm My turn. You. <laughs> Let's do this. Want some more? <laughs> He's wrecking me. There's another knife. And that's a finish, but we need Take Baron the for the other sentry yeah, charge. Actually, we should be able to do a focus shot, yeah. Easy. Another one in the bag. Present! Present! <laughs> Elevator, please. Didn't I have like 10 seconds, 10 minutes to spare? 12 minutes to spare? Sir. Is that a Apple or Android? What are we talking about? Destroy all of it? Oh! Oh! Self destruct. That's not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on! <clears throat> he is really calm. <sighs> Although I suppose Cloud's a pity. I don't know anything about Cloud, but he seems like the type that's like, I'm not gonna worry about it until I have to. Jesse, you're not done with this? No time for loot. Pick up the pace, people. Can you walk? Grab her and let's if go. If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. It's cute. Cloud! Where'd my jumping abilities come from? Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, come on. And you're telling me I can't jump with him? The whole power went out? Yeah, one time gig. <laughs> Looks like we made it. Chapter two, fateful encounters. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it. I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> Wait, where's... I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down oh, there. Oh, there's Wedge. Okay, I thought we left Wedge. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. Huh. Chapter 2. Okay, real quick. I just want to go... I want to go into the menu as soon as we can. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Okay, so there were a few things that we encountered, so I want to read those enemy intels, but yeah, I'm assuming um, they expected their initial 
a bomb to not do the same amount of damage obviously they self-destructed so maybe that was their way of turning this into seeming more like a larger attack and making like vilifying this situation whoever was the guy that like ordered the the facility to be full like fully destructed because obviously that's going to look bad to the whole city because there were so many more impacts from that but okay so real quick we had that we had that I want to read up on the scorpion. Yeah, the sentry ray we already looked at, right? Yeah, we looked at the sentry ray. So the sweeper. An autonomous anti-personnel weapon manufactured by Shinra's advanced weaponry division. It remains in sleep mode until it detects intruders, at which point it enters threat elimination mode. Those were kind of fun to fight. And then the scorpion sentinel. That was a cool boss. I don't even know if that was really a boss, but a large sentry weapon manufactured by Shinra's advanced weaponry division. Highly mobile due to its many legs and arms with array, uh, with an array of heavy weaponry. Deployed at Mako Reactor 1 to protect the core. Nice. And then going into chapter 2. So we have the same amount of party members. Going into chapter 2, let me go into my map. Mm -hmm. so use the escape route all right so we're escaping but i'm actually gonna stop it here i know so going forward i'm probably gonna try to stick to doing two to three chapters for each video because i know it is a long game and you guys know the way that i play i like to be as thorough as possible but i really wanted to have an introduction i wanted to get you guys excited about it see if you guys were um looking forward to this playthrough and everything and how i was gonna like it too i one didn't expect to i and i'm not saying that i have a handle on the combat i think i still am kind of chaotic and i'm button mashing at this point i hope that i continue to get a little bit more methodical with it and also just i want it to come more naturally but i felt like we did a decent job in that boss i'm assuming that was kind of like the end of chapter one boss but so far i love the story i love the graphics holy cow the graphics everything it plays like a movie it feels like a movie um Again, I know that this is drastically different from the other ones, so by no means am I going to hold all of the other ones to the same expectation. I know for a lot of you guys, y'all are probably like, no, this is going to, I don't think necessarily ruin the other ones for me, but I, I totally understand how this could skew my outlook on the others but again i just want to fall in love with the final fantasy structure and world and this is doing it for me i had no expectations and this is blown past every single one of them including the characters i already love the characters i thought it was going to feel really messy switching between characters and you even see over the course of as soon as we were able to control barrett it I was like a little bit hesitating to switch back and forth. And then after we got to the boss fight out of necessity, the game kind of forces you to get used to that structure. And I felt like I did a lot better job as we were exiting the facility. Uh, so I really like that, like altering between the partners and the part or the party members. And they all have their own um, really significant attributes to bring to the table. Like he has the range. Cloud has that killer slash attack with that blade that has to be weighing him down like that point has to be so heavy to carry around one of the aspects that i'm really liking about this that i wanted to say earlier and i held off because i don't know how loud it is um is traditionally i've been very weary about having companions with us because in a lot of situations i either feel like it turns into an escort mission or they never uh, not necessarily pull their weight it just ends up feeling like they're more of a hindrance than helpful and that is not the case in this story like, I can already tell that the party system is crucial to not only enjoying the combat, enjoying the story, but also just crushing these enemies. Like, I, I think if you're going to have any success with some of these enemies they're going to throw at us, it's you got to learn out of necessity. So with that, I know this is a super short video, so the rest going forward will be a lot longer um, or at least a decent coming in around like two and two and a half hours because I do want to be thorough with this game. I want to try to by no means 100% it, but you guys know every single time I take on a new game, I try to take in and do as much as possible in an organic playthrough without having to look anything up. But yeah, I love it. I love it. I can't believe I waited this long to play this game. Thank you guys for the recommendations. Like a lot of this came from y'all's recommendations and I gotta give it to you guys. I think at this point y'all know me pretty well and you know what not only stories I'm gonna enjoy, but 
just combat and and games as a whole you guys have never steered me wrong with your recommendations so thank you so much because i know this is going to be an incredible game to play through and experience so i'm going to take it slow this was a rushed circumstance it it kind of does that with the music and the situation and the timer so of course i was i wasn't going as slow as i normally go and kind of taking everything in um with the sense of urgency but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little introduction to Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, YouTube. Bye. so good ah! did i just find my new favorite game i'm kind of like shaking from the excitement <laughs> it's so good